Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this short video I'll show you how to do a simple cross dissolve effect like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got both of my video clips in the project window already and then they're already loaded into a new sequence and ready to go. Now I just need to edit them both together. So let's get to the bit where I say in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's find it like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the first thing I want to do is just find out where I start to say in Adobe Premiere Pro. In, in, in. Right about there. I'm going to place a marker by hitting the M key so I know exactly where I started to say it. And then in the second clip, I'll find where I say in Adobe Premiere Pro for a second time. Perfect. In Adobe. And there it is right there. So I'm going to trim that clip up now and then pull this in to match up with my marker so that the first clip should mix seamlessly with the second clip. In Adobe Premiere Pro. And let's watch it back from a little further. A cross dissolve effect like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. So a pretty good straightforward edit, but you want to see the cross dissolve effect. So I need to go into the effects menu here and then video transitions, and then I'll head to the dissolve drop down, and there it is right there, the cross dissolve effect. Pull that over and literally just drop it here. Okay, and there you can see the cross dissolve has appeared on both clips. If I hit Command Z or Control Z on the PC to undo that, if I actually click here and hit Command D, that's a shortcut key to actually place the cross dissolve as well. So you don't need to go through the whole menu there on the project window. Now let's check the cross dissolve and tighten it up as appropriate. All the effect like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, it looks pretty perfect on the first play. So there you go. That's the way to get a cross dissolve in Adobe Premiere Pro. As I learn more Adobe Premiere Pro, I'll bring more tutorials to you. If you'd like to see a future effect or technique covered, just leave your suggestion in the comments to this video. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.